Greetings. This is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Um, today's topic, Pontius Pilate's Street. We are October 29, 2019. Scripture reference is out of Luke 23, verses 20 through 24. Pilate addressed them once more, desiring to release Jesus, but they kept shouting, Crucify, crucify him. A third time he said to them, Why? What evil has he done? I have found in him no guilt deserving death. I will therefore punish and release him. But they were urgent, demanding with loud cries that he should be crucified. And their voices prevailed, so Pilate decided that their demand should be granted. Which takes us to Jerusalem, city of David. And this is the oldest part of the city. And a recent find of a stepstoned street is believed to be built by Pontius Pilate. The street has its beginnings near the Pool of Siloam and goes north to what is known as the Temple Mount. Pilate is believed to rule from 26 to 37 AD. And so if you look at the map here, a little red uh, cursor, also where the white cursor is, this is the Pool of Siloam. And um, the street runs north. And this is the modern day Temple Mount. And there's the Golden Dome right up here in the north, the far north of this map. There's the Western Wall. There's the Al-Aqsa Mosque. And then there's the wall. Things drop off. And this is the old city of David to the southern half of this, of this map. So, you know, the more they dig around here, the more they find. Um, and I would argue that's the place that Jesus says not one stone will be left unturned. I mean, it all of it got raised to the ground. So, but back to the story at hand, the ray, the road is measured to be about 600 meters or 655 yards long, eight meters or nine yards wide. And previously it was thought uh, the street was constructed by Herod the Great, who ruled from 37 to 4 BC. But now there've been over a hundred coins discovered under the road key point there under the road these coins point to the dates of 31 to 40 AD during the reign of Pontius Pilate and so we've got a quote here from uh, Dr. Donald T. Ariel archaeologist and coin expert Israel is Israel antiquities authority and then the following quote is dating coins is very exact some coins show the year in which they were minted. And if a coin found beneath a street is dated 30 CE, common era, we would say AD, then the street had to be built that same year or any time after 30 CE. Uh, here's a picture of the steps of the, of the street. And, you know, we also have a quote here from Nishan... Zanton, archaeologist, Israel Antiquities Authority, and he's a PhD student at Tel Aviv University, and he's also the lead art, the lead author for the for the research of the project that's uh, been recently published. And here's a quote from him: "It's not just that we found Pilate's coins; we also have to look at what we didn't find and would have expected to find had the road been built after Agrippa the First became king of Judea." From a statistical point of view, it's hard to imagine that the road was built after 41, that'd be 41 AD, because we don't have any coins from that period. And the thinking goes like this. Coins from Agrippa were found above the pavement of this road. Agrippa I ruled from 41 to 44 AD. So the road had to be there, in other words. These coins were found with burned material, and history tells us Jerusalem and the temple were leveled and torched in 70 AD by the Romans. So all the stuff above the street would have to be from 41 to 70 AD, because that's when Agrippa ruled. And then we know, historically, the Romans took care of business in Jerusalem in 70 AD. Now, if you guys want to check out specific details, I mean, this this link right here, and this is the one that's uh, the lead author is... Uh, Zanton. This goes into incredible detail. So any of you folks who are into archaeology, you'll probably enjoy this. Got some charts and maps, etc. Specifics of where the dig is taking place. And then that that article 
that that published archaeo- archaeological writing was picked up by hot arets and then that's where i found this and i just took the highlights from that but you know the thing that that i take from it and i know a lot of other folks who take from it the narratives in the gospel accounts were real events and the people who participated were real people pontius pilate was a real person and it appears he commissioned a real street with real steps in the city of david and once again the bible confirms modern day science and archaeology these these things really happened you can't take that away and i know the critics would love to do that but it happened found coins found steps with likenesses on the coins got to deal with it um if you're interested please feel free to check out paulthepoke.com you can also go in this area follow the blog Type in your email address and become a subscriber. Every time we put out something new, you'll be notified. And then also, this will be categorized under Paul the Poke Trend Updates. You can go over here to the far right part of the blog and check out categories in which articles have been posted. We are on our 10th year here. So, um, hope you guys enjoy it. Enjoy following along. Try to put out relevant stuff archaeological, geopolitical events, and then just kind of whatever hits a lot of us. So it's fun. And so appreciate you guys following along. Oh, and also, by the way, new books out, The Gospel 33 AD. Link to that's at Amazon.com. You can click on that and get some more information. Um, a lot going on, more than just Jesus dying for sin. It's pretty amazing stuff. Talk to you all later. Hope you have a great evening. See you. Bye.